Welcome to this evening Qigong routine. I film this out here in the snow, in the cold, because in Chinese medicine, we like to think that a calm mind helps you to sleep. And we equate this calm mind with a coolness, coolness of the brain. In Western medicine, we know that the brain is actually one of the few areas of the body that you absolutely cannot have inflammation, which in Chinese medicine we would call uh, fire toxins or heat. So we wanna cool any inflammation or overactivity in the brain, and this is gonna help us to get a calm mind so that we can sleep. We'll be doing very gentle qigong to just clear any tension from your day, let go of the stress of the day, and get that calm, cool, clear mind. So I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the routine. You can begin this routine seated or standing. If you're standing, find your feet about shoulder to hip width apart. We're gonna place one hand on the lower abdomen, one hand on the chest. Just exhale the breath out. And as we inhale through the nose, we're gonna breathe into the belly first, then the ribs, then up to the upper chest. As we exhale, we'll empty the upper chest, then the ribs, and then the lower belly. We call this wave breathing. Again, inhale, belly, ribs, chest. And long, slow breath out the nose, chest, ribs, belly. Continuing like this for a few breaths, deep and slow, in the nose, belly, ribs, chest. You can even exhale out the mouth now with a sigh. In through the nose, filling the torso from bottom to top, and exhaling with a gentle sigh. Couple more, long and deep in the nose, filling each chamber of the torso, exhaling out the mouth, emptying each chamber. As we slow the breath, we calm the nervous system, generate a state of peace and harmony inside. Last one, exhaling. And then we'll start to move slowly, this one called spinal cord breathing. We'll keep breathing, exhaling as we bring the elbows together and round the spine. Inhaling as we pull the elbows back towards each other and open the chest. Exhale, tucking the tailbone, tucking the chin down, rounding the back. And inhale, bringing the chest forward, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Nice long breaths here, in and out through the nose now. Really nice one for back pain, to make the spine more supple and flexible. And again, to calm the nerves. Reach both hands up. Keep the tailbone tucked under. Reach one hand up at a time for picking cherries. Keep the tailbone tucked. Keep the pelvis dropped. And as we reach one hand up at a time, look to pull your side ribs up away from the hip bone as the hip bone stays dropped down on that side, creating a gentle, slow stretch on the side waist along the sides of the lower spine. Great one to free up the low back and waist. And then we're gonna end with pressing the hands down, spreading the fingers, leaning your ear to one shoulder and rolling the head over one shoulder. This is called spreading the feathers. Look for a stretch down the tendons of the arms, up into the muscles of the neck and jaw. Inhale. 
Inhale as you roll back. Exhale as you roll forward. And then roll across to the other side. A few deep breaths. Simultaneously calming the nerves, calming the mind and heart. That slow breathing and mindful movement as we stretch and open the body. Good, let's release, shake out those hands. The next one, pull your hands up to chest height. Press the right hand up towards the sky, left hand towards the earth. We're gonna rotate to the left, keeping those hands pressing up and down away from each other very strongly. And then come back to the center, bring the hands up and down, and once they get to chest tight, reverse. Left palm towards the sky, right palm towards the earth. Press them away from each other as you twist right, look over your right shoulder, twist the spine. Come back to the center. Hands up and down. Let's find this with breath. Inhale, press. Breath hold, twist left. Exhale, back to the center. Hands up and down. Inhale, press up and down. Breath hold, twist right. Exhale back to the center, hands up and down. Inhale, reverse, press, right hand up. Breath hold, twist left. Back to the center, exhaling. Inhale, press. Breath hold, twist to the side of the lower hand. Exhale, center. Inhale, and exhale, press down. Good, next we're gonna stretch open the back and front of the body. Round forward into a gentle forward fold, and then roll up, pushing the hips forward, opening the palms, looking to the sky. And then round forward. Feel the heavy arms pulling you down little soft bend in the knees, then pushing the hips forward and opening up the front of the body. We'll do a few of these with our breath here, exhaling as we round into a gentle back stretch, back of the body. Inhale up into a gentle front body stretch. Just very broadly open, opening the front and back of the body. So here not trying to just stretch the hamstrings or just stretch the back, but to stretch the whole back of the body down from the spine, down the back of the legs, and vice versa as we come up, stretching not just the hips or the chest, but the whole front chain of the body, opening up gently. Nice deep breaths, exhale down. Inhale up. And then finally, exhale, settle the palms. Notice how your body feels. Then take your hands on the hips and start to circle the hips. Finding some nice circular opening around not just the hip joints, but the waist and lower spine. Get the body nice and limber. Circle the other direction. tension we've been holding in the body. Maybe from sitting at your job or bending over to work hard. Come back to the center. Let's take our palms face up, fingers point towards the forehead. This one is called the tray of teacups. We're going to go to the left and down to the right and across to the left and up to the right. And we're going to use that to paint a figure eight or an hourglass shape with the hands. Hands configured as though you were holding a tray with teacups stacked on it. So if you turn the tray upside down, 
or separated the hands, the teacups would fall. One way to help this can be to touch the thumbs together to keep the palms in the right position. You'll notice here my hips are continuing to circle. So I'm getting a nice broad opening through the hips, waist, shoulders, elbows, and wrists. And we're going to go the other direction. Fingers point to the forehead. Fingers point to the belly. Forehead. Belly. The hips move with it. So as the hands go over the face, the hips are forward. As the hands go past the hips, the hips are back to make space for the fingers or the tray. Come back to where we started and then bring the hands down, touching the fingers and thumbs together, curling the fingers in towards the wrist and pressing out through the back of the hands, leaning the ear to one shoulder and nodding the head slowly over that shoulder, looking for a stretch to come up from the back of the hand, up the back of the arm, up into the side of the neck. Again, we can breathe with this. Let's go to the other side. Inhale back. Exhale forward. better we feel mentally and emotionally when we address these things through the body. Just stretching, breathing, moving mindfully has such a profound impact on the state of mind and emotion. Let's come back to the center and shake that out. Pause and notice how you feel. Then we're going to pull our palms back by the waist and press the right hand forward. Twist to your left. And then switch. Left hand presses forward, right hand pulls back by the ribs. And with a breath, we're going to inhale and twist to the right. And exhale, we'll push pull. This movement is called Immortal Pushes the Stone. Inhale to your left. And then exhale one more time with just the breath as we push. And then the next one will start to add the whispered six healing sounds to clear stress from the organs. First sound is for the lungs. It's a letter S. And inhale, twist to your left. Again, the lung sound. Inhale to the right. Next sound is for the kidneys. Sound is choo. sound is done in a whisper. Inhale, twist left. Again, the kidney sound. Inhale, twist right. Liver sound is SH. Sound is for the heart. Sound is ha. Inhale. Next sound is for the pancreas. Sound is ho. Sound long and guttural here. And the last sound is for the triple heater meridian. Sound is he. Inhale, twist. Last time with the sound.
and inhale, pull the hands in by the chest. Exhale through the nose, slowly press down. We're going to enter the flow here of simple mindful movements. This one called Tai Chi opening. We exhale the hands floating down. Inhale as we float the hands up. Breathe slow and mindful through the nose. Pay attention to your body as it moves through space. Think of your body like a sponge and your mind like water. The sponge gradually soaking up the water. The mind, the awareness, diffusing into the body. completely present with the feeling of moving, moving and breathing. like a guitar string. As the Buddha said, the mind should not be too tight or too loose. We want to tune it just right. So we're focused, but not tense in the mind. Focused and relaxed, not trying too hard. Excessive mental effort in Qigong can lead to winding up the qi, sticking it in the head. Let's bring this into a standing posture called Embrace the Tree, then drop the left hand, turn to your right, switch the hands, and shift and turn to the left. This one is called Cloudy Hands, a nice one to calm the heart. Great for sleep, great for stress reduction. As one hand is up in the Embrace the Tree position, the other hand is palm towards the earth, like we're skimming over a lake with that palm. Shift and turn to the side of the upper hand, shifting the weight into that foot and turning the hip slightly to that side. And we breathe slowly with this as well, inhaling as we go one direction, exhaling as we go the other. Doesn't matter which way. Just link the breath with the movement to keep our sense of mindfulness and presence. When we say mindfulness in Qigong, we mean it literally. We mean the body is full of the mind. The awareness is filling the body. Generating that field of presence that harmonizes our Qi. Produces these miraculous healing benefits. But more than anything, reduces our stress by helping us to pay attention not to the stories and thoughts about reality, but to rea reality itself as an experience. Come back to the tree position. Hold here. Find your breath. Sink your tailbone. Float your crown. Arms like you were hugging a tree. And then slide your palms to your lower back. We're going to brush down the back of the legs. Around the feet and up the inside of the legs, following the water channels here. Coming off the belly, the hands are going to float up towards the sky, open to the sky, and then pull back down. And we're going to scan our body from head to toe as the hands guide the awareness down through the body. Again, hands to the low back. We're going to inhale, exhale, glide down the back of the legs. Inhale, glide up the inside. Exhale, floating the hands up to the sky. Inhale, drawing down through the upper body. And exhale, sending the awareness down through the lower body and off to the earth. Again, 
inhale, exhale down the back of the legs, inhale, imagine steam rising from the earth up the legs, and exhale, imagine it rises over you as clouds above the head, inhale like we draw down rain from the clouds passing through the head, the heart, exhaling down through the pelvis, legs and feet to the earth. Inhale, low back. Exhale, imagine water pours down the back of the legs. Inhale, like it enters a hot spring, turns to steam, comes up. Exhale, the steam forms clouds. Inhale, the clouds rain down through the upper body, cooling the head and the heart. And as they go lower, warming the body, like warm water down through the legs. Pause, notice how you feel. And then we'll just repeat a simpler version of that movement, inhaling the hands over the head, exhale, drawing down. And we'll keep that imagery of rain and water. You might even imagine snow here. So as we inhale, imagine you're connecting to a cloud above your head. Exhale like the hands are pouring snow down over the head, cooling the head. And that snow turns to warm water as it washes down through the heart and almost hot water as it washes down through the belly and the legs. Inhale, connect to the cloud. Exhale, cooling snow on the head. Warm, calming water in the heart. And hot, steamy water down through the lower body. This is helping to correct the flow of energy Qigong, we want the head to be cool, the heart to be warm, and the body to be hot. We don't necessarily mean this in a literal way, or in a subtle energy sort of way, the coolness of the head, meaning low inflammation in the brain, a cool, calm mind, mind of stillness, the heart being warm, representing the balance of the emotion. Not hot, not cold, but warm in the heart. And the heat of the body representing the energy and vitality to keep the body healthy and strong. We'll close by stepping the feet in close together, holding the hands over the lower abdomen, below your navel. And just beginning to allow the body to rock and sway. your knees become soft, your spine becomes soft, become as supple as water. Allow the energy to flow like a stream that's been unblocked. And we say in Qigong, our energy should be like a river rather than a swamp. It should flow and circulate unimpeded. And one of those impediments is the tension of the body. So let that tension melt. Get out of the way of the healthy flow of vital energy through your body. Simply by relaxing. And we'll step back out and just end with a few circles of the belly. It's helping to collect the energy at the Dantian. This is where we like to anchor our chi at the end of practice in order to store it, gradually building a surplus of energy here. We'll center it in over the lower abdomen. And just focus there, notice your breath. See if you can feel the breath moving at the lower abdomen. And bring your hands into prayer, set an intention for your evening, and whenever you're ready, let go with a gentle sigh, letting the energy spread. Hope you enjoyed this practice. If you've enjoyed my style of Qigong, you're always welcome to join my 12-week online teacher training program. We're running every spring and fall these days, so check out the link in the description below if you're interested. Otherwise, see you in some of my next videos. Thanks so much for supporting my channel. Have a wonderful evening.